what's up so happy monday it's currently monday i'm just getting dressed um i'm actually just gonna do my hair and i'm gonna do my makeup on instagram stories because that's kind of like the plan he was not there before i went in the other room okay so i went with some curls i kind of also did a side part just because in everything i've been doing recently my hair has been straight and really over it um i think it's gonna rain so shit I'm, i wanted to do this in like natural sunlight so we're gonna see what i end up doing but obviously i have to change out of my sports bra because i'm gonna figure out what outfit i'm doing kind of want to do like a fall themed look um just because i need to get some fall content that's what we're doing i'm a little exhausted because i have Oh, that time of the month so I'm just like trying to like fight through it um, because I could easily knock out for like five hours right now I just finished filming it's just this pretty fall inspired look I'm actually I just got something in the mail I literally just saw the guy drop it off and I think I know what it is so I'm really excited oh my god what am I gonna do with this it's so big this is so lit 16 bottle compressor wine fridge i'm actually got sent it to do some pictures and stuff with it but also how exciting because i just turned 21 so i can actually utilize a wine fridge i sat in this corner because my plant finally came in i think i told you guys a while ago that i was waiting for this plant to come in it came from china so it took forever because of covid and now that i have it my plan is to just use it to film with so i needed to film something for stories because i've been saying that i wanted to do like beauty stories on my instagram basically just like testing new products talking to you guys about products on there i feel like that will be more beneficial than doing it on youtube just because my youtube is kind of transitioning to a lifestyle college space and it's not really as much of beauty as it used to be so i'm gonna do all my beauty stuff on instagram so if you're not following me there definitely follow me um i will try to keep up with it i'm doing stories and then i'm gonna be doing in feed posts as well for my instagram so yeah i'll have my link down below and i'm gonna clean up and get to editing literally how sick is this wine fridge I'm also gonna wash my brushes later today but i have an exam to do i swear i've just had a billion and two exams to do this week um i did like two exams this weekend and now apparently i have another one today so i it's actually due at five and it's 2 41 and it takes roughly an hour to complete so i need to get started by like four probably a little bit before that if i want to get you know the whole time so I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna take off my makeup or do anything I'm just gonna sit here at my vanity and I'm going to do my exam so today I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite fall products I try my best to share with you guys what I've been loving over on my Instagram but I get that some of you guys might not be following me there so I wanted to kind of do a little segment here so if you enjoy this don't forget to let me know and let's get into it Okay, so the first thing that I've been loving, and it's kind of new to me, but it's from Makeup Revolution. It's called the Molten Body Glow. It's a face and body liquid illuminate, liquid illuminator. I can't talk. But I tried this for the first time when I went on my little birthday vacation. And girl, this smells so freaking good. It smells like babies. Like it smells like baby oil or something. And it just smells really good. And it just is like so pretty on the skin and if you're someone who takes photographs or if you are just kind of out and you just want your body to look a little bit more like snatched and just glistening and healthy this is definitely the product for you i really love this and i've been enjoying this a lot i included a little bit of everything just to cover all of my bases so let's keep going so this is something that's very random, but I switched over to natural deodorant. If you watch the vlogs and you've been following me on Instagram, you would have known. I like briefly mentioned it, but I've been trying out different brands and different scents. And something that I've been loving is the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime. This is a natural deodorant. Like I said, it honestly does not leave me smelling musty. And I found that when I was using Native, like I really do also like Native 
but I just found that I think that this one just specifically works a little bit better on me because I don't get as uh, damp underneath the arms. I know it's kind of gross, but let's just be as open as we can about stuff like this. I have just been trying to be better about myself, like my self-care in terms of what I'm using on my body, what I'm ingesting, um, just everything, mind, body, and soul. I've just been trying to be better. And so switching over to a aluminum-free deodorant is just gonna be really good for me in the long run, um, just because aluminum has been linked to breast cancer. I just thought it was like a really good, quick and easy switch. These are a little bit more pricey than what I normally pay for for regular deodorants, but it's nothing crazy. It's not breaking the bank and it's such a minimal switch. I think anyone can do it. So if you've been interested, I recommend this one. I know they have other scents. This is the only one I've tried. I don't mind this scent at all. I think it's pretty good. So I will have everything linked. I think at the beginning of quarantine, I wore this a lot, but it is just the cutest like tie-dye, but it's like a nude tie-dye. It's like a nude tie-dye. I love it. And I just, I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I love nude in general. I love neutral tones. I know neutral is pretty big right now, but it's especially big in the fall time. So when it comes to like crew necks that are really comfortable, really easy to style, I just love this. But normally I just love having really comfortable sweaters that are cute because it just makes me look like I tried when in reality, when it gets cold in Florida, anything under like 60 degrees actually is just way too cold for me. And at that point, just the way that I look kind of goes out the window. I'm just like down to be warm and comfortable. So having like a cute crew neck like this just really helps me out. I bought this from Stephanie Macedo. She's actually a YouTuber and she makes cute little um, tie-dye pieces. So, you know, you don't have to buy it from her, but that's where I bought this one. And I feel like the quality and comfort of it is just so amazing. And she sells really fun colors as well, if you're not as into neutrals. But um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of use out of this as well. Such a picky person when it comes to the colors that I wear on my nails, because I change my nails up like probably every week, like no joke. So the color is OPI and it is How Great Is Your Dane. It is this kind of like mauve -y brown and it's kind of just so dope to me because when you layer it it kind of looks almost black but it's not as harsh as black nail polish is and i'm a big black nail polish girl especially in the fall time but i wanted to try something different and i really really like this on me i think it complements my skin tone i love the fact that it's kind of like a brown instead of a black I have just been into kind of figuring out what supplements I like for myself and for my body. And recently I actually stumbled upon um, a couple YouTubers and just a couple bloggers that talk about collagen so much. So I decided to do my research and I decided to look into like doctor's perspectives on things. And I actually found that after the age of 20, you lose 1% of collagen every single year. And collagen plays a major role in actually a lot of things because I just turned 21 um, and I'm gonna apparently lose 1% of collagen every single year of my life. I just decided to invest in vital proteins, collagen peptides. So this one has 20 grams of collagen per serving. It helps with skin, hair, nail, and joint support. And it is, this one is not vegan. Um, it's actually from grass-fed and pasture-raised cows. Um, this one is unflavored and it also has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, which is also really good for you, obviously. It just has a list of like the amino acids that's included here. Um, so I'm just gonna read to you what the claims are. So it has 100% of your daily value of vitamin C. It makes you, your skin appear more hydrated, gives you a youthful appearance, helps with skin elast elasticity, healthy joints and bones, and it's hair and nail support. So this is from Vital Proteins. I trust Vital Proteins. I feel like they have such a good um, reputation and all of their supplements I have just found. They sell in Whole Foods. They sell in like really reputable places, Costco. And I just know a lot of people that specifically use this brand. So I wanted to try Vital Proteins specifically and their collagen. I am a big believer that the way that you look has a lot to do with not only what you're using on your skin, but what you're eating as well. And just the vitamins and the supplements all play a role, your water intake, everything. 
So I, like I said, I just wanted to focus a lot more on my health. Who doesn't like to not have wrinkles and fine lines and hydrated skin? I think we all love having good skin and just good nails and hair. And so I decided to implement collagen into, into my routine every single day. I usually just mix in, um, the serving size is two scoops. I use about like one and a half scoops. Um, because I drink tea in the morning every single morning, so I'll just mix it in there You can mix it into anything. It literally has no taste. I really recommend this I'll have my link and my code on screen if I have one But I would recommend you look into this and let me know your thoughts. Um, this is for my birthday gift from Sephora So it's the Briogeo the two hair masks I got and so the one that I really really like and would recommend the most is the Briogeo scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo so what this is it is essentially just like a charcoal shampoo and first of all it smells like mint chocolate chip um, i would say it has granules and it's really helpful because you put it onto your scalp in the shower and you just kind of massage out all of the dead dry skin i think this is very essential um, for someone like me who just naturally has a dry scalp but also just in the fall and winter time when it's getting cold your skin is less hydrated and you know you tend to have more dandruff or more dry patches on your scalp so i've been liking this i'm gonna probably repurchase this one in the bigger tub when it's all said and done next i have the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and I have been loving this because not only is my scalp dry, but my hair in general is very dry because it is on the curlier side. So it tends to lack moisture. And when it comes to deep conditioning masks, I like to try out a whole bunch. I've been liking this. I actually use this a little bit in the shower. And I also like to use it outside of the shower because sometimes I just will leave leave-in conditioner in my hair and it helps to kind of tame it and smooth it down. So this one is a little bit of a throwback. This is from Abercrombie and & Fitch and it is the First Instinct Blue um, perfume. It looks like this. And you know what it smells like? It smells like Abercrombie & Fitch. Abercrombie was cool. When I was in middle school, everyone had Abercrombie, you know, the little mousse. Say They've actually been coming out with some really cute clothing items. I know it's not necessarily in to wear A&F or Hollister anymore, but they actually have cute pieces, so, you know, don't sleep on them. I've always really loved the scent in Abercrombie & Fitch. I know it's probably triggering to those of you that have worked there, but... I love it. I think it smells great. I've gotten so many compliments and actually found this on sale at like TJ Maxx. So I'm going to pick up another one when it's done. I find that their perfumes, they last a long time and they're honestly pretty affordable in comparison to higher end perfumes. It's still kind of sweet, but it has kind of like a masculine tone to it that I really enjoy because I love masculine scents. But um, this one is, like I said, A&F. First Instinct Blue, I'll have it linked. I love it, it smells good. I've been wearing this all the time. Forever Flawless Allure Palette. I can never remember the name of this, um, but I just want to show you guys the colors. It has beautiful mauve -y, warm tones, reds, purples, pinks. It's kind of in that color family. I'm actually wearing it today on my eyes. I love the packaging, first of all. It's made of like tin, so I feel like it's pretty um secure and solid when I, I pretty much dropped this like 10 times already and nothing is broken um i love makeup revolution because they're so affordable i did get this in a pr package and i'm glad i did because i get to test more products and you can actually pick up these things from ulta if you live in the u.s and also beauty bay i found that this one's on beauty bay i don't know if you can get it on the ulta website but if you can i'll have it linked um i like this because it's affordable and you kind of it just reminds me of fall like it is a very fall palette it is very um just those colors that i gravitate towards which happens to be reds and purples because i think they look the best on my skin tone and with my eye color and everything i actually did a instagram live using this palette i will have the instagram live somewhere um if i saved it it'll be in a highlight but definitely follow me there because i do little like makeup tutorials over there and like i said I love this one. I think it's really good for the fall and it has just been working for me. It's very blendable. The shadows sometimes have fallout, especially the shimmery ones. But if you put a setting spray on a brush and then pack it in, you have like no problem with it. 
you'll have no problem with that. So that's my pro tip. So the last two things I have are also makeup items. So the strobe cream from MAC, hands down, I was just such a big fan when this initially came out, the original formula, but now they have multiple shades. And gold light is one of my favorites because it is just such a golden warm color and it looks so amazing on my skin tone it just is such a natural like glowing from within kind of glow and i love that on my skin tone i just love it in general i don't like a glittery highlight concealer that i switched to is the revolution conceal and define infinite longwear concealer and it is c 9.5 i'm actually wearing it today i like it because it is medium coverage and it's also hydrating so i think if you want fuller coverage i would say maybe skip out on this because i find that it's you can only pretty much build it up to a medium coverage i think it looks great i think the shade works great on me and i actually like wearing it as a foundation because it is very lightweight you can barely feel it and it's just such a like nice easy to find good affordable concealer and so i would recommend this i don't know about the claim of it lasting 16 hours i don't wear my makeup for 16 hours i don't know who does some other favorites that i have um that i just kind of want to sit down and talk about is okay vampire diaries i have just gotten super into over quarantine i can't believe it's taken me this long like i feel so lame for never giving it a chance or for just thinking that everyone that was watching it was just like you know into like this twilight knockoff show but it's so much better i personally think vampire diaries i think the storyline is better than twilight and you know don't come for me but i just feel like i'm on season four right now so don't spoil anything but i've been binging it i really love all the characters i will say my favorite is probably like bonnie Caroline and Stefan like those are just my favorite. It makes me feel like it's fall time And I love the fact that they actually filmed it not that far away from where I live They filmed it in Georgia and they have a whole town and it's that's where they filmed like everything from Mystic Falls So one day I would like to go over there to Georgia into the town and I would just love to see all of the sites that they filmed at and just feel like I'm also in Mystic Falls and one day when I'm done with the series I'll definitely do a little road trip to Mystic Falls since it's not that far away and I'll definitely vlog it so yeah okay songs that come around this time of the year definitely have to be Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood ever since that song came out when I was like 13 it is my go-to fall song like if I hear that song I know it's fall time and just The Neighborhood in general as a band I feel like really fit the fall vibe so yeah that's kind of like some of my favorite fall things i hope you guys enjoyed this little favorite segment in this vlog and if you did definitely let me know i thought it would be smarter to kind of include it in a vlog instead of a whole sit down video so if you liked it let me know and i'll see you guys in the next clip don't know if i showed you okay ignore how dirty my ipad is um i got this ipad stand i will link the ipad stand it is actually so great because you can just put your iPad on it. I know I have to clean it. That's how much I use it. Um, you can just put your iPad on it and it just stays like this. Or you can also slide this up so it can be taller. Like this. And it actually really helps when I'm studying. It makes my life so much easier. So I'm currently kind of trying to reorganize and declutter whilst I have some free time. So I just want to show you some things I did. So I actually had this on my vanity face the other way, but I wanted to fill it up with lipsticks because as you can see, this is not even all of my lipsticks. This is just like the ones I have in the bullet form. Um, I wanted to put them on display because it's fall time and I know that like during the fall I try to use like reds and purples and like deeper shades and i kind of want to remind myself to stop wearing nude lips because i do that all the time i have my crystal still because that's kind of what my tray was meant for and i put my superstay by maybelline um lip crayons because i really like them and i really like the formula i just always forget to use them because i forget i have them and i have yet to try these laura mercier lipsticks so put it there also i decided to declutter like i said so i kind of put some things that i'm not using that are new that i'm not going to be using and i just kind of compiled a little box of things to give away to one of you guys and 
I actually have someone in mind, so I'm going to get her address, and I'm just going to send her this box of goodies. So if you guys want to possibly get sent a mystery box of items from me, then don't forget to comment and like. I usually send things to people that engage with me the most on Instagram and YouTube, so definitely don't forget to comment and like the video and DM me on Instagram and stuff notice specific people always commenting and things like that i like to just kind of put things in a box and give it to them so this is just a few things like i said i have too many things so we're kind of decluttering right now i like to kind of try to reuse and recycle things that i get in pr because obviously i'm getting a lot of packages and it's kind of like a lot of waste in my opinion and brands have gotten a lot better but obviously you know we can only do so much so this is plastic and i thought it'd be cute as like a decorative piece um when I'm normally like in my apartment and I'm not at home, I have like more space to kind of decorate and like reuse things. But obviously since I've been home for the past couple months, I've just been kind of trying to still find ways to reuse them. So actually Laura Mercier sent over this huge like powder puff. It's so nice, it's super soft, it's kind of like a little pillow. So I decided to kind of put it here because I also thought this was cute to kind of keep and decorate with instead of just throwing it out or something. So I also just put my current perfumes in this little um, tray, kind of like a perfume tray. And I think it'd be cute up here since it would be out of the way. I have this, which came in PR. And then I have blue light glasses as well as just my everyday like sunglasses. So yeah, this is what I did at the top of my Ikea drawer. And I think it's pretty cute and it's like you know, decorative, but still practical. So yes.